Hello friends, the topic is packages. Uh, so we have, first of all, let, uh, let's understand uh, two different type of packages, system defined packages and uh, user defined packages. So what are system defined packages? We already learned, I think in Java at the beginning, the application programming interface. So where we have uh, java.lang, java.io, java.net, java.utilities, and java.awt, and java.applet. These are all the six different packages where, you know, it contains all the, of course, these are all the system different packages. It contains the standard functions in the classes. Every, I mean, every package contains classes and classes contains functions. Okay, so all the system different packages, uh, for example, language, it contains a language related classes and language related functions, utilities. So like that, those are all the system different packages. <laughs> so in the same way, Java is providing the facility to create a user defined package, user defined packages. So for the user different packages, so first of all, we need to create a package and then we need to, you know, if you create a package which contains a class and a method that obviously we need to use somewhere. So when you are working on some application, you can create your own package with your name or with some other name, application oriented or any name you can give. Okay, so you can create a package and then you'll use where it is required. <laughs> that is importing a package. So here we'll, we'll understand how to create a package and how to import a package. So why too late? So let's go. So see here, so this is your creating a package. So let's understand as I already told you, package here. Yeah. So see the program, a very small program here. Here we are creating a package. Please understand this is not a, uh, let me just show you. So this is not a, a Java program. It is not a Java program. If it is a Java program, it should contain the main function, main class. There is no main function at all here. So that is not a Java program. It is one of the Java file, that's all. Simply it is a package. See the name package and some name is given as test pack. I want to test the package, right? I've just given some name. You can give your name or you can give some other name also. <laughs> Basing on your convenience requirement. Okay. So then package, test pack. And then package contains class. For simplicity, you know, I'll, I don't want to make the things complex here. I've just taken one class. In the class, I've taken one function. That's all. So I've created a package now. So class TP in that void display or so some basic function I've taken. So package contains a class and see package contains a class and class contains a function and functions deals with variables. Okay, so like that I've created a package called test pack. That's all very simple, which doesn't contain main function. So as it is not a Java program, yes, uh, please remember it's not a Java program. So let's save it at some folder called D somewhere at your uh, uh, required location. So you've saved, see class tp in a tp.java. So this file is tp.java, save it. And only till now we have compiled in as Java C, but here we'll do it in a, with small other parameters called Java C hyphen D, D uh, hyphen D to create a directory and dot <laughs> space dot, dot means at the current location, create a directory at the current location and the file name is tp.java. So java c hyphen d and dot space tp.java. Then it creates a directory called test pack. We'll, I'll show you while, uh, when we execute the program. In that, it creates a class called tp. <laughs> if you have multiple classes, you'll have multiple classes there in the directory. So this is something about the package. You've created a class and a function and 
packets you have saved under the name package test pack. Very simple. Okay, now so here, so it is user different package, means maybe my package, I want to design a big application somewhere like this, and I'll create a package initially. You want to work with some bank application, you want to work with some student application, you want to work with some uh, staff application. So you just design all the classes and functions. You create a package there. That actually in the application, even somewhere, you can reuse it, you can import it. Okay, so that's the meaning of importing a package. Here you have created everything, and here you'll use it. So whatever the package you, are, you have created there, I want to reuse it. I want to simply use it, and I want to import it first of all. You know, import and export. I want to import it. So test pack is the name, and where it contains class TP. So that's why import test pack dot TP. Very specific I am. I may have multiple classes. If you want to have, uh, import all the classes, test pack dot star. Remember, only TP. That's why I've given it as TP. Uh, if you want, if, if at all uh, we have multiple classes there, TP, TP one, TP two like that, then I can simply say that test pack dot star. It imports all the classes. That's one point. So there the package uh, keyword here the import keyword. Okay. So class TPM. Now, please understand this is a Java program. So you are running, you are working on some application. Okay, there you are importing or you want to use some package. So that's why you imported it. And now see the main function here. Now, see, this is the class TP. So what will happen is import means. So see here, this complete package will be imported here there the, the block of code the same code it is dumped there and of course this is my java program so both are linked also by the java uh, binary files the java compiler and you know java linkers it links the the package okay so this is the main function this is the package above now, so now for the class TP, here it is there, but of course you can imagine here TP. So for the class TP, I've created an object OB. So we all know it. So TP OB is equal to new TP. Now OB dot display, we have a function called display, see. So display will be somewhere there. So OB dot display. So then obviously it should go there and call it. And very important is it should be public here. Uh, I want to specify here if it is public, yes, from anywhere we can access the methods and functions, I mean functions and variables and even classes also. If it is private, only restricted to that class itself. Remember, public means anywhere. This package and, you know, from the other file, other function, I mean other program. So anywhere public is, uh, keyword is used. Private means it restricts only to that class. And default means to that program only. Default will allow to access the content from that program only, that's all. This is the program, for example, I, I may have multiple classes there. So in that, if you give default means what? You don't give any specifier there. So we have public, private, protected, and default means you will not give any specifier. If you give default, from the same program, you can access, of course, the Java system will allow you to access the function, variable, or class. If you protect it, it will protect the, the same program subclasses and subclasses of other programs also. Okay, so that I want to clarify here, access specifiers. So public, private, default, protected. Protected mainly it'll, uh, we can access the subclasses. We have seen the concept of subclass in the concept of inheritance. So a subclass also it'll allow protected. Subclass of the same program, subclass of the other programs also. Okay. So that's the thing about the access specifics. Now that's why it should be public. Otherwise it will not be, it cannot be accessed. When I say ob.display, yes, it will go there. Okay. 
Now, what to do? Here we have uh, saved and uh, compiled. And here we need to save it. Compile as usual, tpm.java, java c tpm.java, and execute it, java tpm. So let's check it how it exactly executes there. So why do we waste the time? Yes, let's go. So see here. <clears throat> yeah, so here you can find only the Java files and see here Java files and class files. There is no directory called test pack, but now we are going to create it. First of all, let's see the pro uh, this one here. So here, this is the TP. So what we have uh, given the test pack and display function, the class TP that I'm just showing you. And then this is the main function, which contains TPM and all. Okay, so now see that. So now whenever, uh, yeah, now we need to Uh, yeah, I've just gone to the uh, D drive and in that SVG Java some uh, folder here. Yeah, first of all, Java C hyphen D <coughs> dot TP dot Java. Okay, so compile it. You have saved it and you have compiled it. Now check the location. See there, there is a test pack. And I means create a directory called test pack with the class tp see class file it is a bytecode file you can't find anything there okay so you want to check check it you can't understand it's a bytecode file so yes it is created now so the package is done now we need to go to the main function so what we need to do yes java ctpm.java and then java tpm so then it gives welcome to packages so simple See, check it. So when we are calling ob.display, it will go. Yeah, uh, see, the display function is what? Welcome to packages. It will print welcome to packages on the monitor. That's all. So we, we got the same. So it prints welcome to packages. So like that, the package is important created and it is used at some other program. It is imported at some other program. Hope you have understood. Thank you. Have a good day.